This is David, Master Generator Technician, and today I want to talk to you about tools. So this week we're on site doing a generator control systems upgrade. I don't want to show you the kind of tools that I use in this line of work. First of all, you need a way to carry the tools. So because we're working in switch gear, you're going to be in the panel and out the panel, you're going to be standing up and uh, kneeling down so you need a bag that's versatile so for this kind of work I'm using the CLC shoulder electrician shoulder bag and this bag has been bulletproof I've been using this bag for I don't know 15 20 years and it's been it's been outstanding the only issue I do have with the bag is that the strap could be a little bit longer so what I've done is extended it with a uh, piece of paracord. But apart from that, it's the best. Okay, so first up, we need 1,000 volt electrical screwdrivers. We need the flat and the cross type. And we need a full set. Right here I have an additional terminal screwdriver. This one is from Klein and the reason I have an extra is because this is the most used tool of all, terminal screwdrivers. So always have two. Okay as we're doing panel wiring we will need standard crimpers with the red, yellow and blue crimps and if you look inside the bag here you'll see that the crimper fits in the back quite easily then we have a ferrule crimper okay and then we have a selection of uh, thousand volt pliers made by CK and there's a pocket in the back you can see it fits neatly in the pocket and it doesn't move. Then there's a needle nose pliers. These are made by CK. But any thousand volt, any thousand volt pliers will do. Okay. Then we have <clears throat> the wire cutter. And what we like about this is that it's 1.5 mil and 2.5 mil wire stripper as well. So this is a dual purpose item. Wire cutter and wire stripper. So that goes in the front because I use that one a lot. <clears throat> one of my favorite tools is this Nipex tie wrap cutters. So if you get a tie wrap here, you close it onto the wire, and then you cut it right there. What's interesting is that that is absolutely flat. There is no edge on there whatsoever, and that's done with Nipex pliers. Nip, sorry, Nipex uh, wire cutters. Then we have electrician scissors. Okay, so another dual use item. It's a wire stripper and a very good scissors. So these go in the front because I use these all the time. And then we have a serious wire cutter. This will cut through a wire like, like butter. It's a tie wrap. Okay. Up next, we have the knife. Oh, there's two things in there already. Next, we have the, the knife. In around the year uh, 2016, Caterpillar told us that we can't use uh, locking blades on site anymore. So we had to change to retractable knives. 
So this is what we use now, and I tie a bit of string on the end so that when I want to grab it out the bag, I just grab it and go. Okay, so the other thing is uh, Baco SL25 quarter inch drive socket set. This is an amazing socket set. I use this so often, okay? And that drops right in the front of the bag right there. Okay, then there's tie wraps. You know, never leave home without tie wraps. On the side of the bag, there's a place for a screwdriver. I put tie wraps in there. If you're gonna do more mechanical work, you could put a long screwdriver in there and use it as a pry bar, and you can also have the same on the other side. Okay, so we have also spare blades for the razor knife. <clears throat> and for this um, kit, we also have an extension, a quarter inch drive extension. Okay, so then there's the Fluke Volt Alert 2AC 90 to 1000 volts and you simply put this on the wire and it will turn red if the wire is live with 90 to 1000 volts. You can also test it, there's a test point there to make sure it works before you test it on a device. So, brilliant tool, don't leave home without a Volt Alert. <clears throat> so then we have um, colorful big pen and a marker pen and they go in the side of the bag right here white tape is the most useful tape I find because you can write on it with a marker with a large or small marker and uh, this bag comes with this link that you could put several rolls of tape there and you could also hang a panel key from here if you if you so desire. Okay, and then we come to the tester. This is uh, what we use for working on electrical panels. And the reason why we use the Mega TPT 420 is because it goes to a thousand volts. That's pretty good because most testers only go to 600 volts. So what you do is you put a little cap on the top there and you drop it into the side of your bag. And if you want to protect the screen, you just flip it the other way. Okay, so that's pretty much the bag right there. And if you want, you can uh, zip it up. and go. I don't know what you call this fabric, but it's super tough. And we've been using this type of bag for years, and it works perfect for us. Okay, so last but not least, is you gotta have electrical gloves. Okay, so don't go to the site with uh, without your electrical gloves. Okay, so you have the rubber insert. We're using 1000 volt gloves and you have the leather protector on the outside. Okay. These we have to test regularly to check they're in date and to check that they don't have any holes in them. Okay, and we also have inner FR gloves that you can add to give extra protection to this system. Okay, so that's it. Always wear your gloves.